As the state's rural hospitals fight to survive, this coronavirus has really dealt them another blow. Governor Kevin Stitt's executive order forcing hospitals to shut down elective surgery. And tonight they're telling us that this has left them without one of their main money makers. We basically do everything except um, heart and head surgery. Eliminating the roughly 20 surgeries a day doctors perform at Duncan Regional has left Johnson wondering how long the hospital can hang on. A couple of months should be manageable. Longer, that is uncharted territory. The hospitals pretty much are financed through elective procedures. Uh, so much of what we do, we break even on. And so to, to make a profit at the end of the day, it really takes surgeries and radiology more than anything. And when you eliminate those, it's kind of a leap of faith. Stevens County has one confirmed COVID-19 case. The person was not treated at Duncan Regional Hospital, but that doesn't matter. The hospital has been preparing for the virus for weeks. This process is unprecedented. I've never seen anything like it in my 25 year career. We have, we're not the hospital we were three weeks ago. Johnson said the hospital is about half as busy as usual in its ER and occupancy. There's just not a lot of our organization left, although everyone's still here working. Johnson does not know how bad the outbreak will be for his hospital, but he says they are ready. We're here, we're prepared, we're ready. We asked whether the virus would force more rural hospitals to close. It's a great question. I don't know that anyone knows the answer to it. I think many are worried that that could be the case. There's, if you look at and Johnson said that he expects a rush of patients wanting to do surgeries there once the hospital is allowed to do them again.